Okay, this is where you would use Play-Doh if you have it. Of course, you need permission and you need to find out where you're allowed to use the Play-Doh in the house. If you don't have Play-Doh, we're going to need paper and scissors. So go ahead and pause this video and look for those things if you don't already have them. Okay, so if you have the Play-Doh, this is what you're going to do. You'll work with a partner, it says, but we obviously are going to do this by ourselves. Maybe you have a brother or sister who would like to help and watch, um, but you can do this alone. Um, you'll flatten a ball, um, you'll roll a ball with the Play-Doh and then flatten it to make a pancake shape. If you're somebody who has paper and scissors, you're going to cut out a circle the best you can. Okay. Um, so then what I want you to do is, if you're using Play-Doh, get a parent, have a parent with you, and you can use a plastic knife to cut the Play-Doh in half. If you have scissors, make sure you're using kid scissors and your parents know what you're using and you'll cut the piece of paper in half, the paper circle in half. Um, and I'm using the word half. We haven't talked about it yet, but I think we know that word. Um, but what you want to do is you want to have it so it's fair, so it's divided equally, so that this person would have the same size as this person's equal sizes. Okay.